So Jeff and I were walking down in Wicker Park and we came across this storefront and in the glass panel we saw the 1920s R3 Magnavox horn and, and both of us just sort of did a kind of a double take. We have to have one, we just gotta hear what this thing sounds like. Hit that jab. It has this resonant vintage organic sound that just seduces you. We just knew that we had to find a way to share it. That's where the Gramavox was born, the world's first uh, Bluetooth gramophone. Today, most audio equipment is designed to be small and portable. With the Gramavox, we're trying to get people to engage with their music in a different way, a way that's sort of become lost. The question is, well, how do we take the beauty and grandeur and sound of that original Magnavox horn, but modernize it and make it accessible to people today. If this was figured out back in the 20s and it worked then, the fewer things we change, the more things are still going to work. The Gramavox adheres to the same acoustical principles as the old gramophones. The curvature of the horn recreates the harmonic signature that gave the original gramophone its indelible presence and musicality. The inside of the Grandma Box has a custom created circuit board with a Bluetooth 3.0 chip and a proprietary audio driver which is acoustically optimized for the Grandma Box. It's almost like you're taking whatever music you want, sending it through the air and then pumping it through a little time machine. It's kind of neat. The Gramavox lets the music be an experience again. It's something people can gather around the way they used to. Ultimately, you know, what it all comes down to is that communal feeling of just like everyone getting together, listening to music, just sort of all be on the same wavelength. And I think that's that's the beautiful part about it. I think that's what we love about it. Don't wait up.